morning, friends. It's dawned cloudy and kind of cold and rainy here in Arkansas, USA. And I have a journal today from May 4th, 2010. It was the first one of that day. And the Mayan day was for Flint. Entering oneness, leaving mind behind. Ah, good morning to life. Warm, loving greetings I share with you, with the you that I am, that all are. We are one. What can I learn both from and through you this day? I am open. The bird song filters into my soul, bringing deep delight. Ah, I am so grateful for birds. What would life be without the dear bird ones? I don't want to know. They're a fine blessing. I laugh too and delight in the variety, the immense variety of their singing. <laughs> As I shudder with the old joke, what if all the birds in the forest only sang the top 10 tunes? Ah! We can surely learn something from the birds. Sing our own song, not someone else's. What do I know that is new this day? What is different that I perceive? I am ever made new. That is consistent. There was much heating of the second chakra yesterday. It will be fun one day soon to know and be able to see what this is from the higher dimensions, what it portends. Senses are opening, awakening for us all. I am so grateful. I am so grateful for we are coming out of their nets. Finally, those horrid nets, so carefully woven, are crumbling down into dust in the presence of so great a light as that which we all bring together. Not alone could we do this, but together it's nothing to us. We are one, and we're all waking up to that fact. Our power's been hidden from us for so many millennia, much less the recent centuries. We've been all but robbed of most of our abilities as we fell in with their plots, their technology being so much greater, more advanced than our own. They manipulated us endlessly. Well, that's over. They'd better come into the light themselves if they know what's good for them, for their game's up, and they know it. They've grown so used to power and control, though, that they just can't give it up. So, it must be taken from them. It must crumble to dust right there in their hands. Oh well, we're controllers. Better luck next time. This gig is up. It's funny, too, really. When, when I say I wouldn't want to be one of them, I wouldn't, because the karma, the backlash for their treatment of us, it's a whopper. Still, the funny part, dear friends, is I am them. We all are. All are one. So, until you get pretty well out of mind and centered in heart, this makes little sense, I know, it sounds crazy, for mind still has belief it is separate, distinct from the rest. Well, it isn't. <laughs> That's a joke, an illusion we drew down over ourself. We had to play this 3D game we're enacting here. We had to pretend I'm me and you're you and forget the reverse is also true as well. You're me and I'm you, just as true. Yet, 
While trapped in mind land, we can only look at this idea and say, maybe so, but I don't quite get it, for it seems a bit mad. Who can know? I can't, says the mind. Our oneness is a concept to mind, not an experience it can take within. Our union's a fanciful plaything, an idea that can't quite win our belief. Quantum entanglements, the way mind gets into this fine idea, lets it in. All are one. Yet, from the level of heart, this is directly experienceable. I say from the level of heart, but it may be it's also necessary to include disidentifying from both body and mind as well. I don't know. Yet, with little birdie on your shoulder, you're well on your way to this state I call the no mind. By offering up empty cup instead of cup full of knowledge, I know this and that, we offer to spirit a chance to come fill us with true delight, light of source. Our arrogance is a fine thing, but humility's required to balance this out. If we enter in fully, take on the joy truly, then we'd better find room within. Enter heart. Each step we take from mind is a step closer to find the kingdom light here in heart. For mind cannot enter, yet mind slaves we center inside our heads. Technobots. We're pro... <laughs> We're programmed and messed up. Our food is not blessed. Now our land, gone to pot. The mega farms don't know farming. The farmer knows land care, but he's been robbed of his plot. Our vegetables, fruits look great, stay fresh for months, but they don't feed us. They bring in the poisons they're made with, the GMO nonsense into 